Hey guys, what? Oh wait, not guys, everyone. It's your boy, just your run. Back again with another one. Uh, well, just good talk to you all this time. Friend requested that I do this song without a capo. So, hope you enjoy. We're gonna be in and out real quick, you know what I'm saying? And just in case you do want the capo version, I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's by a lovely guy named Zedwan Guitar. He, uh, he helped me get the chords. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him for doing the capoed version. This is the uncapoed version. So straight chords. We're gonna get right into it. I'm sorry I keep talking. Let's go. Okay, get my guitar ready. Not my camera. It's a A flat minor seven. So you're gonna bar across the fourth fret all the way, and then you're just gonna put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the A. So. You know, if you want to add a little spiciness to it, I don't know if this, what whatever this chord is, a minor nine maybe, I don't know. Put a pinky on the uh, high E of the six, yeah, six of the high E. And then you're gonna stay at the fourth fret and you're going to do your major seven shape, okay? For a D flat major seven or C sharp major seven, whichever one, depending. Or you can just do a straight D flat or C sharp, whatever. So um, you're gonna bar your finger across the fourth, and then bar your ring finger across the sixth of the D, G, and B for just the regular major. And if you want the major seven, you're gonna do four on the A, six on the D, five on the G and six on the B, major seven. This is a uh, movable all around the neck. E, major seventh chord, okay? Then you're going, this, these are the two, first two chords that you're gonna be playing the whole time, so. changes that's a, a G flat major shouldn't say we good or whatever whatever she says I don't know the lyrics yet but um uh, shouldn't say we're good a G flat major you're gonna bar your whole um, thing, your finger <laughs> across the second fret. Then you're gonna put your ring and pinky on the fourth fret, and then your middle finger on the third fret. So E, two, A, four, D, four, uh, G, three. And then all these other two, 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 two. All right. So that's the transition chord. From the transition, you're going to stay at the second fret and you're gonna do a B major seven. You see that shape is coming back around, it's coming back around. So two on the A, four on the D, three on the G, and four on the B. Okay, going from part of the verse to the um, pre-chorus, it's called pre-chorus, so. Uh, mm -hmm. and say we're good. So, that part, uh, like I said, then, then you're gonna go B major seven to your C major seven, or just your B major to your C major, you know what I'm saying? C sharp major, whatever, D flat, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> and then your G flat major. 
So you're gonna do that twice. And so I'm like. And then cocaine, something. The third time around, you're gonna go back to that A flat minus seven, and then you're gonna play your D flat major seven. Then you're gonna play your G flat major to your B major seven. So, just sound like uh, this part. Somebody else, and I'm gonna do it myself, and then you're gonna do that same part, the first chorus part, like we should, and say we're good, and then so you're gonna play your B to your D flat, but instead of going to your G flat, you're gonna hit straight into the A minor seven, A flat minor seven. Seven to D flat major seven. You do that a couple times. Then G flat major. Oh, you can. There's a variation. Hey guys, quick lesson. We're gonna learn a variation for the F sharp chord. Okay, G flat, whatever. So whenever you're on the E string. Every note you play. If you go two frets up and go to the D string, you have your octave. Okay, so this is movable across everywhere of the guitar. All right. Okay. Those are the same notes. We're gonna take our root. Okay, and move it to the octave. Then all the notes that our chord is comprised of, we're gonna move those too, okay? So this F sharp, G flat is comprised of F sharp, G flat, C sharp, D flat. And got a good, uh, a young octave and a B. So, we're gonna take our root, put it to the octave, then four on the D, forgive me, four on the D, six on the G, seven on the B, and six on the E. Okay. Good funky little stretch for you right there. In the context of the song, this can give us some more spice. And when she's saying this, isn't it like we shouldn't say we're good, whatever. Uh, so when you're at the, when you're there, you're gonna move your pinky from the seventh to the sixth. At least that's kind of what it sounds like, like a walk down or a half step, whatever. Uh, so, um, the context.
that's about it. I mean, we got everything that we needed to. Hopefully you did. Play with the track, I suggest. Play with the track. That way you can formulate the course together and it won't be a big deal. <laughs> and then see if you can compose or compose or transpose. Just by ear, I think that's uh, translate whatever you want to say. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm happy for the suggestion. Shout out Joey P. Go check out his channel. He's the one that asked. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. And the links for the other videos will be in the description. Yeah. Um, pretty good song. I like it. You know. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Alright? You're your own person. <laughs> but also, keep the advice. God bless you all. Peace out. Do 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 do. No, that's not my outro. I'm sorry. <laughs>